During early adulthood, the years from 20 to 40, men and women are in their physical prime of life. The heart and lungs and all of the other body organs have reached maturity, and by the mid-20s, the digestive, respiratory, circulatory, and sexual reproductive systems are functioning optimally. Skeletal development is completed in the 20s, and by 25, both men and women have achieved their full height. Bone ossification, which is the process by which cartilage gradually transforms into bone, continues through the 20s and is completed by age 30. In the area of physical strength, young adults peak by age 30. They can run up a flight of stairs, lift a heavy load, and forcefully grip an object as never before. In terms of disease, young adults are very healthy. Visits to the doctor and days in the hospital because of illness are significantly lower for this group than for later ages. When medical attention is necessary, it is more apt to be because of injuries, often drug or sports related, or due to a normal pregnancy. Even the common cold is less frequent during young adulthood than at any other stage of life. Self-reports by young adults reflect this condition of overall health and well-being. In a public health science survey conducted in 1990, 73% of the young adults surveyed rated their health as very good or excellent. Only 5% of that group rated their health as fair or poor. And death from disease or a chronic condition is also rare. Only 70 per 100,000 between the ages of 25 and 34. These statistics are low when compared to the rate of 422 per 100,000 for the group aged 45 to 54. However, the peak status that young adults so readily experience at this age may mask some inherent dangers. Replete with physical resources, they have the capacity to bounce back easily from physical stress, even abuse. This may lead the young adult to push him or herself too far, though the damage done to their system may not become apparent until much later in life. Not eating well, skipping meals altogether or overeating, misusing drugs or alcohol, smoking, failing to exercise, and getting by on only a few hours of sleep are not uncommon, but they take their toll. I can go, you know, and a lot, and, you know, a lot of people are like this, I can go, you know, one night I had three hours of sleep, the next night I had two and a half hours of sleep, the next night I had four hours of sleep. I could go all up, I could go like that for a month if I had to. It would, might not be, I might be kind of cranky, <laughs> but if, yeah, that'd be no problem. You know, I can go, I, I'm, I have such a high metabolism that it doesn't matter. You know, like I eat a lot of food because my metabolism, metabolism is so high that I eat, you know, probably more than I can, anyone that I can think of, but if I had to, I mean, it, I don't eat properly, every meal is fast food, you know, you go pick up something quick, Taco Bell, McDonald's, whatever, you know, it's terrible for you, um, but it doesn't matter because you're young, so, I mean, you can get away with it. There is a punishing aspect 
to um, over drinking and overeating that um, uh, people often aren't aware of why they do these things, but um, that uh, they can use alcohol and um, the overuse of food or even you know deprivation of food to somehow try to deal with their um, sense of not being sure what the limits are. The impact of behaviors such as these was validated by the Berkeley Longitudinal Study, in which the health status of 7,000 individuals was evaluated over a period of 40 years, from age 20 to 70. They found that, especially for men, one's physical health at age 30 predicts life satisfaction at age 70. Though the young adult functions at his or her physical peak, already the first signs of senescence have begun to appear. Senescence is the decline in functioning that is the result of the normal processes of aging. By the late 20s, many young adults notice the appearance of their first wrinkles. Caused by a slight loss in elasticity, wrinkles first often appear in areas of the face that are most involved in the individual's characteristic expressions. As it continues to lose elasticity and fat deposits build up, the skin on the face begins to sag slightly. Eyelids may also begin to droop. Cheeks start to sag, and a double chin may begin to form, all by age 40. Other parts of the body begin to sag as well, and exercise is now a must if earlier levels of fitness, muscle tone, and body shape are to be maintained. Another characteristic of aging, the appearance of gray hair, is also often first noticed in the late 20s or early 30s. The graying of hair, which is genetically determined, is caused by a reduction in the number of pigment-producing cells. In addition, hormonal changes and a reduction in the amount of blood supply to the skin may cause the hair to thin. Changes that are outwardly less observable begin to take place in the body as well. There is a decline in the conduction velocity of nerve fiber, meaning that messages that are conveyed from the brain and through the nervous system now travel more slowly than before. The result is a slowing of both the sending of messages and of the body's reaction to them. The body's basal metabolic rate also slows. This explains the increasing tendency for individuals to gain weight as they age. The young adult also experiences a nearly imperceptible but very real reduction in the vital capacity of every organ. One's lifestyle, however, does play an important role in determining how extensive the impact of this reduction in functioning will be.